overlooked? Are you, you, you know, you're happy with the role winning, and obviously you're happy winning, but do you feel like you're overlooked nationally? Uh, I mean, uh, not really. I just feel that like, I, I just feel like what uh, Dot has got to be going back and uh, take away. And I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I, I didn't play football for the individual awards. And I mean, from the beginning of the season, I'm exactly where I want to be. Uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't have a, a goal. I didn't have a goal to win a dope ball. It wasn't none of my goals. My, my goal was just to uh, be the best Travis Etienne I can be. And, uh, just go out and help my team win games. And, and the Fiesta Bowl was the result of that. I'm just uh, very grateful and happy to be here in this moment to be able to, to win the Fiesta Bowl. So what's it like, um, you, both you and JK, you play maybe a couple of fourth quarters all season long. What's it, you know, you, you do it in the first half and maybe a little bit in the third quarter and then you just watch. I mean, how was that this season? I, I, I feel it's uh, really great. It uh, helps us just stay fresh. Uh, for when we get to games like this, to be able to go out there and, and, and carry low. Uh, that we might have it carried all year, so I feel we want to be well rested, well prepared for this game, and uh, just ready to, to fire on all cylinders and, cylinders and play our best four quarters of the, uh, of the year. Do you feel like you played 13 games? I mean, in the past, uh, like has this season been easier for you in terms of just the workload and, and the way you feel at this point than maybe seasons past? I mean, uh, I mean last year, and this year, kind of similar to me, just. Uh, Freshman was really tough because I didn't know what to expect from a mindset standpoint, but just sophomore and junior season, just having that right mindset and just being able to uh, prehab and, and do a lot of rehab uh, has really helped my body throughout the process. So I feel as I get older, I just learn more tips and tricks to keep my body uh, feeling fresh. Kind of played off that. What, what works for you? Like ice baths or stuff? You know, oh, like no. I'm you're one of the guys that hate ice baths. I hate the ice bath. I hate the cold tub. It's just, I, I can't do it. But it, it's weird because I can't do the uh, cold tub, but but I, I can get in cryotherapy. So it's it just kind of weird to me to think that way. Uh, so I, I do a lot of cryo. I, I kind of uh, get, get massages uh, every Thursday, just, uh, just do team massages every Thursday and Sunday. So I try to get those and just uh, stim my ice whenever I can or whatever is hurting. And uh, I, I like to get in the hot tub. I think that worked, but they said that was a shirt for me. But it gets my mind right. But, uh, you know, kind of talking what he was, since since uh, you didn't have to play a lot of fourth quarters, is, is it almost like you played eight or nine games this year instead of 13, the body, the cumulative wear and tear, it's maybe not quite as, as hard as it was in, in some years? Uh, nah, I mean, I, that, that's definitely not how it works. <laughs> you definitely feel like you played 13 games. You just, you just feel a lot better, though. Uh, just with those breaks, and uh, I mean, just, just being smarter about it, being able to take care of your body when you can, uh, just, just holding into it and just figuring out that, just understanding that like your body is your greatest asset. So take care of it and uh, have the right diet, things like that, and you're definitely just going to feel better. You had that uh, the switch for the offense on at, at left tackle, and obviously, you know, Jackson Carmen's coming kind of does a nice job. What, what's made him so good? What, what's good about playing with him? Uh, just, just Jackson being Jackson, I mean, uh, he's, he's a great guy, great player, uh, clearly shows on the field. And, uh, just, just, just him coming in, uh, just having the mental capacity that he has, uh, the, the ability to learn and the willingness to learn. So, I mean, he just kind of picked up on things fast. And, I mean, it, it was just really great to see him just come in. And um, I mean, we had a great left tackle last year, but just come in, come in and see him do what he does. And, uh, just really great, and it shows where our program is headed. As, as running back, you know Ohio State obviously has a really good defensive line. Do you do you game plan for that much, or do you just more focus on what you're doing? You can't worry about Chase Young who's across the field. I mean, you, you definitely have to worry about a Chase Young. I mean, you, you, you see what he's done all season uh, throughout the season. So we, we definitely have to be aware for him each and every play. Uh, definitely can't take snaps off and not knowing where he is because. Um, he's going to make plays. Uh, uh, players going to make plays. And so, I mean, we just have to be aware of where he's at at all times and to try and neutralize him. And, but you also you have Chase Young, but you also have uh, uh, other, your other three linemen who are great players, you know, 